The next step in the practice is to release. When a feeling or thought arises and the meditator needs to release it, they simply let go and let it be there without giving any more attention to it. Letting go is like having a ball in your hand. You turn your hand over so it's facing the floor and you open your fist and let the ball drop out. That's how you let go. The content of that distraction is not important at all, but the mechanics of how it arose are very important. Just let go of any tightness around it. Let it be there without placing attention on it. Without attention, the tightness will pass away quickly. You have removed its nutriment. Your personal attention feeds the distraction. Once you let it go, mindfulness reminds the meditator then to relax. The relaxed step after releasing the feeling or sensation and allowing it to be there without trying to control it, there is still a subtle, barely noticeable tension within mind-body. This is why a relax or tranquilization step is being pointed out by the Buddha in his meditation instructions within the Anapanasati Sutta where the instructions were preserved very, very well. Please don't skip this tranquilization step. This step is just like adding oil into a car so the motor can run smoothly. Without performing this step of relaxation, each time you relax in the cycle of meditation, you will not experience a close-up view of the cessation of this tension, which is caused by craving. You will not feel the relief as all the tightness is relaxed. Note that craving always manifests as tension and tightness in both mind and body as it arises. As you relax, you have a momentary opportunity to see and experience the actual relief from craving. Craving is the root of suffering. The release and relax steps demonstrate this. At this point, you relax. Notice the relief. Mindfulness then reminds you to do the next step. 